Took you long enough. Honda, thanks for coming in on your day off. If I had known what happened to your sister, I wouldn't have called you in. I'm happy to be here. And hey, what happened to your sister? She's fine now. Congratulations. I heard the fight got nasty. Go see the medic. Get yourself checked out. All right, EMTs, fix me up. I'm good. The FBI swept Charlie's computer. He and Deborah have been planning this for months. When you made him at the drugstore, they figured it was now or never. Mumford hadn't recognized him? The body count? We stopped him. Hell of a day out there. End of shift. Go enjoy. All right, party of mine. Gonna fire up the grills, ice the beers. Who's coming? You might want to say no. It's still your anniversary unless you want to end up on a couch. No joke, Dad. Sorry, man. I can't. Yeah, I got a security gig. I'm out. You find time to sleep. With a new baby on the way? Might as well get used to it. Mumford, how about you? I can't. Nikki's waiting for me at home. Are you two lovebirds the honeymoon still ain't on? Never. <laughs> Good man. All right, just us then. Three makes it a party, right? <laughs> Hell yeah. So Bonnie wants to seal the deal, huh? Seems like. Are there bridal magazines popping up in unexpected places? That's how Annie let me know. No, oh, she wants me to meet her parents. It's a major move. Or she just wants to meet her parents. How do you ever know who you want to spend the rest of your life with? I have no clue who I'll be five years from now, let alone 50. Oh, you hope you get 50 years together. That's terrifying. You don't want to marry the wrong one. But you don't want to be so scared that you, you don't marry the right one either. And look at Hondo and Luca. God love them, but I bet they weren't planning on dying single. I hear you. Hey, did pretty good in the major leagues. A little more practice, you might get drafted. So what happened? I had a talk with the guy. And? I got his DNA. But you know it'll take months to process, and either there's a hit, he's already claiming consent. And no proof. Just like you tried to tell. Maybe you scared him enough with the DNA that he won't do it again. I threatened to kill him if he did. What? It felt righteous. It wasn't. Why are you even telling me? Because you asked. A cop threatening a civilian. I definitely did not just hear he that. He ain't a civilian, he's a rapist. A suspected rapist. Hondo, I know you want to punish this guy. And I get it. You don't think I'm angry? that women everywhere aren't angry right now, there's a part of me that wishes you would have done more than just threaten him. But that is a slippery slope. I know that. We've both worked too hard to get where we are. And you know, we don't get second chances. You got to get a handle on this before it takes you somewhere that you can't come back from. just dragged myself out of a messy marriage. This, this was supposed to be easy, light, a fun time. Maybe I bring out the worst in you. This is not about you. I know, it's just something you say at a time like this. I'm not what you signed up for. We both knew this wasn't going to be long term. I 
I want to see you deal with this, whatever this is. But I'm not the one to help you. Maybe we should take a break. Take care of yourself. I mean that. You too. All right, nice job on the course, man. Thanks for coming through when I called an audible. We can get working on the house tomorrow. It's gonna take some time. Roger that. I mean, if it's a long haul, street night, we could rough it for a while, you know? This is nice. Thanks for that, man. Thank Cheers, you. brother. Hey, um. So what did Chris do for Uncle Sarza that he owes her this big favor? Make like a dozen parking tickets disappear or what? Yeah, right, man. She doesn't break the rules, not even for family. Uh, when I was 12, I caught a leukemia diagnosis, and um, Chris was a match. She donated bone marrow to save my life. Did you just tell him? And she hates people knowing she's a hero. All I did was lie on a gurney. It's not a big deal. Sure it is. So you wait all this time to call in this favor and use it on me and Luca? Don't flatter yourself. I call it in all the time. <laughs> yeah, like every other day. Oh, <laughs> hey, Timo, you want to play? Can I play? Five minutes, then straight home. Yeah, OK, oh, we, got we got a got game, game going. Yeah, Let's go, game. Timo. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, oh, good. Like it. Yeah. Hey, you guys want to play, too? No? <laughs> OK, <laughs> foul. Call the cops. Oh, wait. <laughs> Get it, get it in, get it in, get it in. Yeah, boom! We hop out, man. Here we go, Chris. Yo! Oh, nice! Oh, yeah! Hang on. Here, you want to talk? I figured we could set some ground rules. What you even doing here? Huh? No place left to gentrify? I mean, if he wanted to gentrify the neighborhood, it would have turned into a dog park. Look, we live here now, so all we want to do after work is come home, hang out with our buddies, and play some ball. We're not looking to hassle anybody on our off time. You think you could fix up the court, change a few light bulbs, and now we all good? Hmm? Don't work like that. Look, I'm just telling you we're not looking for trouble, but we also can't ignore what we see on the corner. You know what I mean? It's nothing to see. So we all understand each other, then? Yeah, we understand. You want us out of here. But you see, we were here first. This is our neighborhood, you hear me? My family's been on this block since 1969, and we roll deep. We belong here. You don't. You'll figure that out soon enough. Let's roll. Well, that went well. Come on, let's get you home. 